All right, hello everyone. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to be talking about fictional individuals and sets of persons I'd like to invite to a sleepover to my home. Uh, first up, we got Humpty Dump, of course, the first rapper of them all, folks. Uh, Humpty Dump is just a wonderful character to have in your, in your group of friends. Um, he will start a food fight, <laughs> of course, if there's snacks around, you know Humpty. Um, he quacks like a duck. And of course, when Humpty's around, uh, everybody do the Humpty dance. Um, next up, we got Ted. Um, Ted's a great guy. Ted walks to work. Um, and I've seen before, you know, he's good at baseball, which, you know, it's fun to have a jock around sometimes, you know. And Rex seems like a cool guy. Uh, you know, the big uh, chicken fella from Monsters, Inc., and he definitely doesn't appear in any other uh, motion pictures. Up next, we got June from Kablam. Um, I love June. She's got a great personality, and I love what she does with her hair. June's got gags for days. She's just always clowning on Henroid up on the show. She's a great host, so I think it would be nice, you know, f uh, to show her a good time. Uh, my own uh, place where I'm the host. The mysterious pair of eyes. I love this guy. <laughs> he does all the funny voices in this game. Um, and he's also kind of cool because you need a high perception check uh, on the first day of the game to even like be able to interact with him. So he's like kind of cool, mysterious. Next up we have Erwin. Um, I don't think I need to say anything here. So next up, we got Mrs. Tweety from Chicken Run. Um, maybe a bit of a controversial choice, but you know, I, I really love her, just her drive and her real girl boss energy. You know, she's always clowning on the farmer from that picture, which was this whole like patriarchal tradition of growing eggs. And she's like, you know what? No. I'm sick of these minuscule profits. I, I want to make some real uh, cash money today. Um, you know, and I like chicken pot pies, so I think she'd be nice to have around. Um, so next up is this leopard, who is the default image when you start one of these slides on Keynote. Um, they're a cozy, fuzzy, cutie, little kitty cat. Um, and they've kept me... A uh, very close company while I made this. Um, so definitely familiar with the house. And, you know, uh, sometimes it's good to have someone to start a little bit of drama <laughs> at the function. Okay, next up are the Rascal Flats. Um, as you can see, I'm a bit of a cat person. And, uh, you know, when all the rain's coming down on the rooftop, I guess that's why they call it window pane. So next up is uh, Rye Gerhardt, which Rye is a punk. Rye can't really do anything that anybody asks him to do, and I'll grant he is a little bit enti he entitled, you know, to the finer things in life. Um, but I think you know Rye just needs like the right group of people around him and the right setting so that he can, you know really blossom into his own true, authentic self. Um, I feel like it'd be fun to play drums with Rye. And then finally, we have, uh, for an honorable mention, Jack White. Jack is a creepy old man, and he's very aggressive and opinionated um, when he talks to other people, and I don't want him at my sleepover. But... He can deliver the pizza or whatever we all decide to get. Um, you know, he can crack a couple jokes, you know, maybe drop off a, C a record, you know. But, uh, you know, I just got to tell him, uh, Jack, you know, there's nine of us, uh, three sets of three. We can't take you in. He he'll get it, you know. Um, and that's my whole presentation. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know. I'd love to hear what you folks would who you'd like to invite to a sleepover at your home or domicile. Um, 
and have a wonderful day otherwise.